Hey guys, Jesse Lavelle, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here because Canon's released a new firmware update for the Canon R6. It comes in 1.5.1, so it's a minor update to the previous update of 1.5.0. There were a small amount of people that were experiencing issues with back button autofocus, and that's exactly what they've quashed in the 1.5.1 minor update. So if you're somebody that's already updated to 1.5.0 and you notice any issues with your back button autofocus, go ahead and go to Canon's website, download 1.5.1, and it should take care of any of those issues that you may have been having. Notice. Canon always appreciates user feedback on our products and services. Following the release of firmware version 1.5.0, we are in the process of developing an update to further optimize autofocus operations. We plan to publish details of the revised firmware in late March and we'll make an announcement on our website. So, if you're somebody that really likes to wait for the most stable build, you may still want to hold back and wait to see what comes out next or what they at least announce in March. But, as far as I can say, everything's been working absolutely perfectly, not only perfectly, but actually better than on 1.4. I now have vehicle autofocus tracking, as well as increased stability and tracking on my autofocus in video mode and still modes. And again, that was my experience on 1.5.0, and now that I'm using 1.5.1, it's still the same thing. Again, very, very stable autofocus. I did notice a slight difference in the autofocus when I was tracking my cat using animal tracking. Sushi, do we approve of the new 1.5.1 firmware autofocus? That's a yes. And it was actually better. What it did was when it lost the ability to track her face because I was now on the back of her head, it actually popped into her whole body with just the large square like I would see usually when I was using the vehicle autofocus. And what that resulted in was just a very, very stable autofocus on the subject itself, my cat. So very happy to see that. Again, I use these cameras and these lenses and these autofocus systems predominantly in video mode. I do a lot more video work than I do stills, but I did go into stills mode. I did fire off a few thousand shots in electronic shutter priority. And I went and I just did it in high burst rate mode, shot them off, thousands of images, no lockups, no problems, autofocus very stable. So again, from my experience, I recommend you update to 1.5.1, just like I recommended you update to 1.5.0. But like I said, in those release notes, they do say that they are still working on ironing out some of the autofocus issues. They don't specifically say they're working out autofocus issues. They do say there is more work to be done. They are going to have another update coming out in March, or at least they're going to be announcing it in March. So if you're somebody that likes to hold back, you're somebody that likes to wait for the most stable operating system, then maybe it's worth holding back and seeing what they announce in March. Again, from my experience, this is just a great update. I've had no problems with 1.5.0, and again, no problems with 1.5.1, so I fully recommend it. Guys, I hope this video helps you a little bit. If it did, go below, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.